All right, hey everybody, how's it going? Um, oh, there we go. Um, it's been a little bit since I've uh, played this. Um, there's a few people that I wouldn't mind playing against, but uh, Jeb Bush maybe being one of them, Kasich, but um, I know it's been requested, and eh. oh, his chin, his chin's the his chin's the best way to get him. Huh? <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, basically, I mean, if there's one person to face in this game, it's Donald Trump. So that that is the guy I will finally be facing now. And uh, now that I have a good plan of attack, I think I've got a good chance at this. Because now that I know it's like, all right, this is what I'll do. This is how I'll attack this. I'll do this. So when you're facing someone like Trump, here's been my idea. All right. We're going to upgrade our headquarters, and we need to get some money. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, we're going to build a headquarters over here. It's going to be an outreach center. Now we're going to want a lot of clout, and we're going to want a lot of clout fast. That's what I'm planning on doing. So this first little bit is going to be spent getting some fundraiser money together to upgrade that. now. I'm going to spend probably the next week um, over here doing some fundraising. There we go. There we go. Cool. Okay. So now that we've got that taken care of, now that we've got some money, uh, let me do... I've got endorsements. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I've really got some endorsements down, and I'm going to start going to some of the really swing states here and really just build up that clout like no tomorrow. Okay. Not quite what I had in mind, but that's cool. All right. Uh, foreign policy committee. Yeah, that's one we're going to want. Um... Let me see here. If I go back over here, I should be able to get enough funds to then come back and fully upgrade the headquarters. So we got that going for us. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is this is all purely just let's sap the life out of how much I can get out of California. And we will make this work. Now let's go to New York, because uh, New York's got some money too, and we haven't taken all that much from them. Uh, Florida's got quite a bit less, but I think we're going to I think we're going to build another outreach center here. So we're at 22, so we're already able to get another one away from Trump, and. <clears throat> the big thing here is to get just all sorts of clout. Clout is the one thing I'm going to get, and then I'm going to focus on money right afterwards. So if I can get these endorsements, I can get people kind of on my side from the get-go, and then I can start putting um, HQs different places with people kind of already knowing me and liking me. So upgrade that there and we can grab an endorsement but I'm going to I'm going to wait I'm going to wait till next turn what I am going to do though is I'm going to move over here and take some this way <clears throat> I might actually eh, you know what I'm going to take away his his stuff that's how I'm going to do this and he got the Tea Party movement, as I figured was going to eventually happen. So he's got um, election headquarters, election headquarters. Uh, he has one outreach center, <clears throat> which is fine, because he'll get one, and then I'll probably get the rest. So not a big deal as I look to 
build one more outreach center, take away Christian Confederation from him, and we can definitely use this now. All right, um, we're now at 29. We could take away Gun Owners Association from him. And I think at this point we can definitely start creating ads. Um, I would say, how should we lean some of this? Wow, okay, so he's got a lot on me right now. So I need to start moving that my way. And that would be addressing climate change and supporting gay marriage. Uh, and I would, I'm going to do a couple of speeches for this as well. Hopefully this works. I'm really hoping this works. I guess we'll find out. Uh, another endorsement. Uh, let's do... A National Organization for Women. Let's keep him at bay when it comes to this. Um, let's see here. Let's do... Social Security, uh, addressing climate change. Move that up. Alright, so now we got some money for operatives. And I'm thinking we're going to do fashion consultant. Make the ads more effective. And we'll move on over to here. Are those TV ads or... No, it says ground game. It looks like TV ads almost. Okay, uh, so we definitely need to make this ours as well. So I say higher minimum wage needs to be up there as well. Okay. Uh, more endorsements. Let's do... Oh, we got the Environmentalist Club. It's fine. Uh, okay, so we want to put gay marriage up there. As well as climate change. We want this to be a sticking point in Ohio. Another five points so we can get ourselves a speechwriter. Help us out with that stuff. And we're going to move over to Texas. Actually, we're going to move back to Ohio because I'm going to start putting down some ads. Um, actually, I'm going to raise some funds first. He got the NLCU. Well, I got the NAACP. So we're going to create some ads supporting gay marriage, addressing climate change. All right. So a powerful head start, which is good. Oh boy, um, I guess we should see where this is. 60 seconds, sure, why not? Tonight we have an in-depth report on the latest fear sweeping America. Trees. Every hun every year hundreds of people are killed in tree-related accidents. So there's leafy green gentle giants. Oh. Country sees some unusual weather over the past few years. Polar vortexes and heat waves. What would you do about this? Uh, da, 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 da. I'd say limit limiting carbon emissions immediately. Ranch landowners have long complained government policies and regulations that restrict land use in some cases has led to protests and threats of violence. Um, let's see. I'd say threats of violence aren't allowed. Yeah. We dealt with this already in real life. It's called Oregon. <laughs> um, okay. So now... Okay, I have the outreach center. So it's time to go to Texas. And really see what we can do here. It'll be interesting. Upgrade the HQ Center. We're going to do abortion rights. And we're going to start changing things around a little bit here. 
All right, wheat 16, let's do this. All right, national organization, that should help us a little bit. All right, so we want abortion rights, we want gay marriage, and we want, let's do green jobs. And we'll spend the last bit fundraising. And we'll give speeches to make sure that that's the thing that people remember. Texas is now a blue state. Isn't that amazing? All right. So we got a headquarters here. We'll get another campaign headquarters going. We got another national organization we can win over. Uh, so let's see here. We want to address climate change operatives. Let's see here. Uh, PR consultant will make interviews better for me, so. Oh, perfect timing. There we go. Oh boy, O'Malley scenario. Let's do this. Tonight on the O'Malley scenario, the far left once again has struck another blow to patriotism. Hopefully, tonight's guest will set them straight. Good evening, I'm Bill O'Malley. Stay tuned. Some filthy left-wing states now have legal marijuana. There are now visible stink lines coming off of these places. What do you? What are you going to do about it? It's harmless. It's harmless, Bill. Are you serious? You really think it's harmless? Uh, yeah, it's no more har harmful than alcohol. Yep. A lot of Hollywood celebrities are just pinheads, and then really what gets me is how they try to shove their elitist agendas down the throats of regular folks. What do you think about this? Uh, they annoy me. Ah, uh, they didn't like that. That's fine. Alright. Um... Okay, let me think here. Alright, we should create some ads here. Addressing climate change. And we'll make that like the number one thing in the state. There's a political opportunity in West Virginia. JD Consultant has joined a one man ask by the candidate. It lowers my ratings by 10% in the state. Oh, goody. Here. Oh, that's yeah, just West Virginia. Sorry to anyone watching this in West Virginia, I'm just saying. Okay, okay. Let's go with, um, let's go over here. We're definitely going to get Florida. It's fine. It says it doesn't help right now, that's okay. Just as long as it's the ads are for the things that they should be for. Another national organization. Uh, let's see. Uh, gay marriage. We all know those Atlanta gangsters. They love their gay marriage. Wherever my political operative just went. Oh, I have one there. It's pretty much 100%. I think we can... Uh, not enough stamina. Okay. Let's move you over here. Alright, let me see here. What else? Let's go... Nine, eleven, yeah, okay, let's try Tennessee out. Uh, supporting gay marriage. Uh, addressing climate change. Alright. These are the things I am good at. I like how farm subsidies is like the number one thing in Iowa. I'd hate to say that that's not true, but... Uh. Right. Black Lives Matter is definitely a... Uh, 
big sticking point here. Um, <laughs> uh, let's go to California. It's been quite a while since we've been over there to get some money. National organization. Let's get some funds. Stop by the National Bank of California. This is the this is the state right here. This is the war zone. I have faith in Florida. I definitely have faith in Ohio because he's just ignoring Ohio. I have faith in California. I got faith in New York. Florida and Texas, those are the those are where we have decided to draw these battle lines. Climate change and uh, let's do another another one on uh, abortion rights. Definitely let them know what I'm all about. All right, we choose our running mates. Oh boy. Let's see. Who should I pick? You none of you guys are from anywhere. I could use you. Maybe Gore. Eh, let's do Franken. I like Al Franken. I don't know what all that'll do, but we'll just get Al Franken down there. Who'd he pick? He picked Rand Paul. Ha. Huh. Well that's a thing. There we go. Uh, let's give some speeches and definitely uh, get people into this. No signs of slowing down, which is good. More national organizations endorsing me. I don't really mind. We're going to keep this up. And we're going to get people caring about the things I want them to care about. Because that is how I believe we can win. So securing the borders, he's got that, he's got that, he's got that. Climate change, gay marriage, marijuana, abortion rights, reducing unemployment. That is all mine. So we need to get the securing the borders thing out of here. We need to get the resettlement of refugees out of here. Uh, let's see here. State unions is one that we could definitely work on. is very close in Florida. Let's see here. We'll move over to Missouri. Because we got the time. Let's see here. Let's get a fixer. Oh. You know, I just realized those are two things I probably didn't need to grab. I wanted something that raises my awareness. That's okay. There we go. Not like that'll mean much of anything, but at least we'll get rid of some of his stuff. Alright. What's with his political strategy? Oh, okay. Polling data. All right. Can we can we get this out of here? Ooh, there we go. Go back to where we were. There we go. Awareness. Pretty much everyone's aware of me at this point, so that's good. Um. Let's let's get an HQ going here. I know you people love me. Let's let's make sure you people love me. All right. Let's do climate change. Legalization of marijuana. National organization. Take some money from the poor. And we'll move on down to Florida. Ah, New York is becoming a hotbed. Let's change that. Next turn. We'll change it next week. Okay. Let's see here. Climate change, social security, let's uh, gay marriage. Gay marriage. We definitely want people to 
feel like their voice matters. There we go, go to New York. Alright, climate change. Da, 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 da. Legalization of marijuana. I think that's a thing that he doesn't really endorse, so. We'll make sure that helps. And we're going to make sure that this gets up to 100% even when I'm not there. I'm going to go down to Tennessee. There we go. Let's get another campaign headquarters going for this. As, uh... And work on getting some people interested in the things that I would like to have work. There we go. Uh, let me see here. We've got... Let's try Illinois. We haven't been to Illinois. I'm going to spend some time in Illinois. Let's do a campaign headquarters here so we can see. Black Lives Matter, addressing climate change, and uh, uh, gay marriage. All right. Let's give a speech on uh, gay marriage, legalization of marijuana. I'm sure in Chicago that would be great. That'd be one of those things that people would be overjoyed to know. Let's go to Massachusetts. I've never been to Boston. Oh, 60 seconds. Why not? Let's try it out. Did well last time. And a report on trees. All right. American farmers continue to have a hard time making ends meet. Do you feel farm subsidies are a viable solution? Yes. Our nation has suffered a number of high-profile mass shootings in the last few years. What do we need? Uh, oh, man. Uh, me treat this as a mental health issue. I think that's probably what we need. They weren't too big on that. It's one of those things where it's like, eh, it really is more of a health issue in my eyes. I just know people might not be too keen on that. It's alright. Alright. Oh, this should be a lot of things that get me some brownie points with Massachusetts. We're gonna love that that legalized marijuana. All right, turn thirty-nine. Let's see, where should we go? I think we should go back to Ohio because it's now starting to turn into a, a, a an ordeal here. So, uh, higher minimum wage, legalization of marijuana, and abortion rights. Try to get something out of Ohio. Alright, let me spend like a week or two here just really pounding home some of the things I really want. Okay. Hopefully that'll swing it my way a little bit. Still zeros, that's fine. Let's move back over here to Texas. Uh, Texas is probably not going to be mine anymore. Let's see what we can make out of it. The O'Malley scenario. Sure, why not? Let's try this again. What can patriots do for freedom to fight for freedom at home? And what wisdom can I impart on a presidential hopeful in mere 10 minutes? Tune into the scenario to find out. Our president has let ISIS grow into a monster. What would you do to fix this mess?
Uh, I'd say defeat ISIS with international allies. We're getting socked at the pump. The big oil companies are taking us to the cleaners. Uh, invest in alternative energies. Definitely. That's what we should be doing. There we go. Look at all that purple. Or look at all that pink. Supporting green jobs. Uh, state unions. Political opportunity in Maine. Ah, he got it. That's fine. Whatever it was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. This is all mine. Tweet, tweet, revenge. Campaign effect. Uh, back before you were a politician, you used to be a human. This is something new. Like most human beings, you use social media. Big mistake. One of your old posts has been dug up, and you wouldn't know it. The passage of time has not made it more hilarious. Despite all the additional likes, faves, stars, and hearts this post is suddenly getting, the bottom line is that your credibility is probably going to take a hit. That's fine. How credible was I really? Yeah, I don't know why Ohio is such a huge swing state. I'm good with New York. I'm going to I'm going to try to take Texas. I'm going to work my ass off to get Texas cuz out of the three states, that's what I really want. Climate change. Climate change. Climate change. See, climate change, gay marriage, marijuana, abortion rights, reducing unemployment. So this is all, he's got me on the fighting ISIS front and the securing borders front, but I'm trying to beat him everywhere else. Um, let's see here. What does he have? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the spin doctor in here. I'm going to do one more week here, building up stuff like addressing climate change. Take some money, and I'll be out of here. Um, I'll create an ad first for abortion rights. And I'll head on over to Florida. Alright, let's upgrade the HQ. And we'll put out something for the TV. We'll do, um... We'll do Social Security. Old people like that, their Social Security. Oh, he took that. That's alright. Legalization of marijuana. I'm going to make sure that that is a thing. And Donald Trump cannot take that away. Let's take, let's go take Virginia. I think this could, uh, this could help. Okay. Let's do, uh, let's do more marijuana. People love their marijuana. All right, we're closing in on the end here. How the hell is Iowa a swing state for me? I don't believe you. This is a lot, a lot of pink. But, uh... Still feel like there's a good shot here. I'm going to spend probably my last couple weeks here in Ohio making sure this is most certainly a thing. There's a political opportunity in Iowa. Rich donor donates a million dollars. We're going to create a TV ad then for climate change. 
Get myself another endorsement. I'm telling you, this is this is us right here. All right, final week. We may edge it out in Florida, so this is my last bit here to try to get the the great people of uh, Ohio to love me. All right, here we go. I think I've won. I think I've won. So we'll see. He's actually spent more money than me. All right, best of luck. Good. Mm hmm. That's a good start. This is a very good start. Mmm, after all that work. I bet you Texas is red too. It's alright, I got a very, very sizable lead right now. And I'm only 70 votes away. I think I'm getting this one. Oh, Franken, come on. Get your people in line. There you go, right there. Texas, a blue state again. That is one of those things that I sit there and I go, you know what? That's 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 just good. That's just uh, that's just good to see. I I feel like I've accomplished something when I've made Texas vote for a Democrat. And that's the win. Before we even get to California, he got a lot of states, but I made sure to get the states that matter. <laughs> so <clears throat> this is how it usually looks for me that's that's how that stuff usually looks looks for me when it comes to that I'd say exit polls yeah I really I really wanted to make sure that it was a lot of things that I could lead on and uh, yeah I kind of crushed him, but not as bad as uh, Rubio, but I gotta say, this is... I, I, I'm glad that it turned out this way, but, like, if I usually win, and I just barely win, it's usually because, like, Texas is red, and then maybe one of these other ones is red, and, like, I'll get all these over here, I'll get a few of these over here, I'll get Florida, I'll get California, but then, like, there's all this over here that's red, and I'm not a big fan of that, I really tried to work on, like, Missouri. I mean, there's a whole section right here that has, like, what? A grand total of, like, six, seven million people, I think. I, I think I'm probably exaggerating, but there's not a lot of people here. There's not a lot of representation in this area right here. It's more here, here, all around here. Yeah. So... It's interesting to see that, but so that was uh, that was facing Trump. I couldn't believe I beat him. So uh, yeah, thanks thanks to anyone watching this. Um, I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to find somebody else to to face. I think. I mean, there's other people on there, but like Trump's kind of the crew, like the like the the final boss, and now it's it's like okay, now who do I face? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll, 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 I'll try to think of something. If you guys have an idea, I can... I don't know if there's any way to, like, import people. Because that'd be awesome to try to face, like... You know, le more legendary people. Because they used to have that. They used to have, like, old school... Um, they used to have old school presidents. Like, Ro like Roosevelt and Lincoln. Like, you could, you could face them in elections. It was pretty cool. I think that was, like, 08 or 12. One of those two. But, yeah. So, uh, thanks, guys, and I'll see you later.